Good afternoon and welcome to this summer episode of It's News to Us. The news show by and for people that have to pull from HFT with me Paul. Learning Disability Week was in June and we took the chance to showcase people's creative talents like the Green Finger Chain and Adrian in Bristol who spent lockdown building their allotment and Rob from Gloucestershire who is artist in Westerns at one of their services famous for its paintings. Rob recently branched out into a sculpture. He is Rob with his sculpture of Gloucester Cathedral. And George from Derbyshire, who is doing a, a work experience placement in graphic design with HMT. George has done a brilliant job designing the graphics for our Wellbeing Award scheme, Give Me Five. Thank you to Molly in South Kent for sharing her collection of poems to help to raise 300 pounds for HMT. Let's hear one of our them. Love is sweet. Love is lovely. Love is sweet, but special love is unique. Love is rarity found in many people. Some shine through, some people hide their feeling. Love is unique, love is never ending. As well as gardeners, poets, sculptors and painters, there are lots of talented musicians here at HMT. We are lucky to be joined by Farmer, a rapper from Leeds, to tell us about his new album. Hi, my name is Farmer, I'm 27, I do music, I'm, I've been working on my new album for a long time. I don't do this for better. I don't do this for champion, champion. I just do this for love. I don't do this for hate, more hate. I take the haters away from my music. I take the pain away from my pants. Is there anything that's inspired your new album, or what is it about? Uh, it's about uh, my, my my life and where I'm, go you know, where I've been experiencing on myself. The music helped me to speak, or uh, help me to. Talk about my emotional. I want to make this world better. Take the world said I don't need no paper. I don't need no pen. I'm a wipe in my mind because I can't write. So go and have my laugh. I'm going to show you what I'm all about. And my music um, is it's like it helped me to inspire myself or help me to share my story with people. And I enjoy when people listening to my music and it inspires me to do more. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Look. Yeah. I'm living my life, living my world.
Next up, we have a special feature on nature and the environment. We joined by Sally from Gloucestershire. Good afternoon, Sally. I'm Sally. My breakfast Thursday, I'll be 65. My job is to the pack. I hate rubbish on the roads. Children can pick it up and eat it, they can get very poorly. I want the countryside to be pretty and lovely like me. I like my garden. Especially my panties, I love. I like growing plants for butterflies to come on. I love butterflies, it makes me calm and relax. So Sally, what's your message to the to the public about littering? I want to say, stop throwing litter outside. Now it's amazing, Sally. Keep up the, the great work. We are also joined by Aidan in Cornwall to tell us about our outdoor space. He has been busy transforming. Hello, my name's Aidan Vincent. I'm here at the Mission Centre at, in Maybridge, which of tea. Um, this is our garden we've been doing during lockdown. Um, this is a bag of towel made out of sticks, bricks, pine cones and chicken wire. And where did all those uh, resources come from, Aidan? Donated by local, local people. A, a bird feeder with teapots. So these have bird feed in them? Well, yeah. Brilliant. Are you happy with how it's turned out? Yes, I am happy. Awesome. Thanks for your time, Aidan. Thank you. Fantastic work, Aidan. In July, lots of people were sharing on England in the European Championship. But it was the online and written to us three plays that motivated people supported by HFT Fletcher to reflect on this question and what make a good team. Let's take a look. Here at Bob Dolphin, our team worked well together as we are all equal but different in our own way. This doesn't stop us being ourselves, which makes our team very strong. After seeing comments from last night's football and the discrimination England got last night, um, Especially the young and ethnic minority makes us feel uh, upset and hurt that others could be so nasty. Our team knows that whether your skin colour, age, having a disability or gender doesn't make it any different. It's, it's who you are and just as equal as the person standing next to you. What makes our team amazing is that we accept each other and all bring different equalities to our team. Hooray! Well done. That's a really important message to everyone. Jonathan and Das in Leeds have also have been having fun and keeping fit on their on their bikes. We are joined by them to tell us more. Hello Paul, my name is Jonathan. Hi Paul, my name is Das. We're going to tell you about riding our bikes in the park. We ride our bikes on a Wednesday afternoon with Tom. So has it been quite good 
to be go to be able to go cycling yeah, when we've been in the lockdown. Kind of yeah. Good to get out and get us cycling done and get ourselves fit, isn't it, mate? I try to cycle. Like it's got pedals at the front of it. And I use these handles and these triggers. Well, it looks pretty cool. Do you want to show us how it works? Mine's a real terrain mountain bike. Mine's used for going down hills. Mm. Not just flat parks. It's used for all sorts of places, really. That's it from us, Paul. Back to you in the studio. Keep it up. You're doing great. Her pandemic has been really tough. So people to avoid by HFT helped up design a well-being award scheme called Give Me Five. The award encourages people to do activities to look after their mental health and well-being. We are joined by Sam from the Give Me Five team with a special message for everyone who completed the award. Hi Paul, this is Sam. Well done for everybody finishing the awards. Look out for your celebration packs in the pros. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well done to everyone who took part. Next up, it's time to meet the team. Let's go over to Matt Watchers to tell us about its job at HFT. Hi Paul, my name is Matt and I'm part of the communications and marketing team at HFT. We're responsible for writing stories about the awesome things you get up to and the difference that HFT makes to your lives. The stories are then used on our website, on our social media channels like Facebook and Twitter, and in our staff and family newsletters. Sometimes they're even featured in local newspapers. We'd love to hear from you. So if you have any stories about the things you've been doing that you'd like to share with us, please do get in touch on communication at hft.org.uk. Thank you. Back to you in the studio, Paul. Thanks, Matt. Next, I am joined in the studio by the Personalised Technology Team. Welcome, team. Hi, I'm Emma and I'm HFT's Personalised Technology Manager. Personalised technology is any gadget or technology that can support you to live the life that you want. The Personalised Technology Team are here to support you and your staff to choose the right technology that meets your needs so you can live the life that you want and live independently. Let's go over to the Personalised Technology Team to meet them and hear about their favourite piece of technology. My favourite piece of technology is the easy to use remote control. It has some nice large buttons which are easy to press and it only has the buttons which I need to be able to control my TV. My favourite piece of technology is a big point. I'd like a cup of coffee please. Because it enables people to have a voice. My favourite piece of technology is the talking clock. 9, 12 a.m. It can help people to tell the time. My favourite piece of technology is my Alexa. It enables me to keep up to date with things, play my favourite music, but also control my lights in my home. Here's how Kathy uses her Alexa. What do you ask her? The weather. Mm -hmm. Time? The time. All that sort of thing. And do you ask for songs sometimes? Yes. How do you use it? What do you have to say? Alexa? Do you know what the time is, please? It's 5.28pm. Please get in touch with the team at Personalised Technology at hft.org.uk or visit our virtual smart house at hftsmarthouse.org.uk Thanks guys! In May, the team did a caption for people in to invent their dream technology. 
Well done to everyone who entered there were some really great ideas. The amazing ideas have been passed on to designers to see if we can make some of them real. We are joined by M in Leeds to hear about her winning idea. Hi Paul, this is Em. I, I won the um, personalised technology competition. I, I was really happy to win. I, I called my robot Henrietta Helper. The impressive thing was I, I paused my um, Jack Daniels and Coke and I liked that. Oh, I want a tablet guys, I really like it. There's an extension that can go on my chair so I can put the tablet on, so here it is. And I really like the fact that it goes on my chair, I'm excited. Thanks guys, see you soon. That sounds like a fantastic idea Em. Well done and a, a big thank you to Danny for helping judge the competition. Next we catch up with Amy Informant Coordinator at HFT to hear about the news and updates on Informant. Thanks Paul. Here's the headlines on involvement at HFT. In July, for National Co-Production Week, we celebrated the difference it makes when people get involved with HFT. I'm joined by Chelsea to tell us how she's involved. Talking about mental health and how it's been affecting people. How does it make you feel when people ask you for your ideas and your views? It makes me feel really happy because I can really communicate them. I can really express them, so it makes me feel really happy that people do come to me and don't shy away from me. Thanks Chelsea. Six people supported by HFT have been working with psychologists to co-develop training on supporting people with a learning disability with anxiety, anger and low mood, along with a workbook to help people with a learning disability. Well done to the team. We've been working with people supported by HFT on a new campaign to try to stop loneliness and isolation among people with a learning disability. If you have a learning disability, you can help our campaign by sharing your story. Go online at hft.org.uk forward slash your experience of loneliness and isolation. I caught up with Linda recently from Gloucestershire to tell us how she's been involved in fundraising with HFT. Let's find out more. My name is Linda Belny and I come from Gloucestershire. I did a sponsored walk to uh, raise some money for HFT Gloucestershire because the people that look after me do their jobs really well and I've got lots of fret nice friends here. I made sure that I did 10 laps a day and on the last day they all celebrated with a party for me. And this is my poem. Linda's sponsored walk by Linda Bilney, March 2020. I decided to go on a, on a walk to lose some weight, to look good and, and to look just great. Some of my staff want to be well. I watched each week as the amount did swell. I made sure that I did 10 laps a day so I could lose some weight when I weigh. My aunties and family sponsored me too, as it seemed such a good thing to do. For my lap of honour, I did one more lap, and my friends and staff gave me a well and clap. I kept all my friends and staff up to date, and I even told them when I lost some weight. Today, with my friends and staff, I celebrate. I raised £1,000, and I feel just great. Thank you. This autumn, we'll be hosting some small Voices to be Heard Involvement Group events. These are a chance for people supported by HFT to tell us their views on the support they have as well as join in with our campaign. If you have support from HFT and want to find out more, get in touch with me at involvement at hft.org.uk.
Back to you in the studio, Paul. Thanks, Amy. Well, that's a wrap for this episode, for this news to us. Thanks to everyone uh, featured in the show. I have been Paul Russell, reporting for H of T. Thanks for watching, stay safe and enjoy the sun. <laughs>